28th project in 2014 was Slovakian artist Roman Ondek in Parameta at the Parameta Town Hall. For a while now, we were looking for sites outside of Sydney, and Parameta was an obvious choice. We decided to work together with the Sydney Festival again. We looked mainly at historic sites, and we found that the old town hall was the most suitable, as it had a beautiful spaces inside, it was very centrally located, and they were most helpful in letting us have the space for three weeks. We decided to give Roman on deck a one-person show. The work swap, which was part of 13 rooms, was one of the most successful. They were the longest queues outside his room. And we thought that that work would resonate really well in Parameter. We again had the use of Zeidler Associates and we divided the space into three different areas. We showed three works, Swap, in which we had like a master of ceremony who sat behind a table and there was one object first, and then he, in a way, auctioned that piece off for somebody to swap it. It's hard to describe, but it was a great success. Some really got carried away swapping their cameras for things, or mementos, necklaces, rings. It had a wonderful atmosphere. The lead swapper, or auctioneer was a chap called Tony Osborne, who was like an actor. He did such a good job that when they did 14 rooms in Basel and 15 in Shanghai, although he couldn't speak German and certainly not Chinese, they invited him to the, play the same role in those places. The other work we borrowed from MoMA in New York and it's called Measuring the Universe. It was a specially constructed room with pristine white walls. And as the audience came in, they were put against the wall, their height was measured, and the date and names were noted. And in the beginning, there were just random marks. But as more and more people came through, they developed a very distinctive line Towards the middle, much more solid. Top and bottom were very sparse. But during the three-week running period, the work turned into almost like a minimal drawing or painting on the walls, where a very solid center petered out top and bottom and gave really the story of the audience especially in Parameter, all the diverse names, cultures, uh, countries where they came from, different heights. It really, in a way, showed the multiculturalism of Australia in one artwork. So it was really well received. The third work, which Roman commissioned specially for us, was the most complicated. I'm not sure why, but we usually try and follow what the artist wants. He wanted us to recreate his balcony in his mid-century apartment in Bratislava, in what is now Slovakia. And we had to find the same type of frosted glass, the same 1950s tiles, the wrought iron railings, and again, we were lucky with the help of John Bailey from the Sydney Festival, we managed to find tradesmen and craftsmen who created this mid-century balcony in the middle of Parameda. But it really worked well because people could enter the balcony as if they came out of their apartment. And they stood on the balcony, which was slightly raised, and they watched the audience to come in. It was a bit surreal, but it definitely worked. And it was good to have an original work 
the Perimeter Art Studios worked with us to have an extensive education program, and it ran, as I said before, the length of the Sydney Festival, three weeks. And I'm very glad that we came out to Parramatta and did a very original and diverse program. Mm -hmm.